Good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, good to be with you this afternoon uh, for midday prayer. Uh, we'll give folks just a few more minutes to um, join up with us uh, as we gather today on this beautiful day um, that the Lord has made. Uh, that we can rejoice. Um, I see that uh, folks are well, are joining in. Uh, <clears throat> and if you have any prayer requests, uh, if you put those in the comments, I'll be glad to, particularly if there's anybody in particular that you would like for us to pray for, I am uh, happy to put those in as I am able. So um, we're going to start our time together as uh, we do many days by centering ourselves to hear God's word. So we breathe in the breath of God. And we breathe out our cares and our concerns. And we breathe in the love of God. And we breathe out our doubts and our despairs. And we breathe in the life of God. And we breathe out our doubt, uh, our fears and our frustrations. For our passage today, I'm going to be reading from the Gospel of John, the 10th chapter, starting at the 11th verse. It's, uh, we hear bits and pieces of this uh, on Good Shepherd Sunday. Um, we, we celebrate in the church year, typically in the Easter season. Uh, so starting at verse 11, Jesus says, I am a good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and, the le and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because the hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the father knows me and I know the father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also, and they will listen to my voice, so that there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. Again, the Jews were divided because of these words. Many of them were saying, he has a demon and he is out of his mind. Why listen to him? Others were saying, these are not the words of the one who has a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of, a blind, of the blind? Yeah. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? That's a good question. You know, we are so blessed to be loved by a God who um, uh, shows the world what it means to love, who shows the world what it means to give up everything, to lay down life, uh, literally lay down God's life, but also to put our own needs and desires maybe behind us so that the needs and desires of those that we love can be in the forefront. This whole shepherd analogy, which we always, I think, hear as a good thing, as a comforting thing, as a peaceful thing, in the original context would have been very strange that God would be compared to a shepherd simply because shepherds were not uh, royalty. They were not priestly. They were not um, high in the hierarchy. Of society. They were lowly workers who hung around, lived with literally the sheep. And yet they guarded the life of that herd. And these words that Jesus gives us today talks about not only laying down life, but about building and establishing a relationship um, between God and God's sheep. Uh, and as we are sheep, um, we are given that relationship. We are blessed through that relationship. We are reminded of that relationship every time we gather together 
For when two or three are gathered in Jesus' name, Jesus shows up. Our good shepherd shows up. And in this time of division, in this time of anxiety, in this time of, um, of turmoil, I hope that this knowledge that Jesus is with us, and through Jesus that means that God is with us, being our shepherd, guiding us, and letting us see maybe just glimpses of what it means to be one as God and Jesus are one. Got the music for us to listen to. It's a beautiful, beautiful setting uh, of a song from a favorite praise brand from Trinity Camp Hill in, in um, Pennsylvania. So uh, enjoy that music as we ponder what it means to be one of God's sheep. Um, so here we go. God bless.
Here in the power of Christ, I'll stand. What a blessing. Um, I am, I'm so happy to be able to share um, the witness that comes from FaithX, uh, the band at Trinity Camp Hill. So um, God bless us as we now gather together to pray. <clears throat> oh, Christ, our good shepherd, we give you thanks for your abiding presence with us, for the way that you uh, work in, with, and through us to do God's work, to bring us together, to make us one, just as you and God are one. <clears throat> we ask God that you be with our nation, that you be with those who are facing yet another hurricane, those who are being surrounded by wildfire, those even who are being hammered by snowstorms. Be with those who are offering aid and help and rescue. We look forward to that time when these disasters will be over. And our Good Shepherd, we ask that you be with those who are suffering in body, mind, or spirit. Specifically, we ask your healing presence to be with Shafiq Shahuri, Razine Shahuri, Susan Harris, Margaret Fulkemer, Shelley McLaughlin, Laura Dareth, Terry, Ben Lehman, Sally, Howard Fales, Rebecca Neal, Jeff, Jack Overton, Glenn Hardesty, Kim Brady, Carol Brzezinski, Betty Crandall, Connie Koss, Charles McCarthy, Susan Bethke, Caroline Marshall, McKenna Day, Thelma James, Esther Mearson, Barbara Dareth, and Debbie Moss. And those that we name aloud or silently in our hearts at this time. Steve, Pastor Kelly, Pastor Jody, Pastor Earl, and Lori. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the gift of salvation, the gift of life that you have granted to us simply because Jesus did not stay dead. He rose from that grave, burst out into the world to show the world that your love can conquer even death. And I ask God that that love console Sally Seen and her family as they grieve the death of her mother, Chella Lewis. That it also console that growing number of family members who have lost folks dear to, dear, dear to them to the coronavirus. We look forward to that day when the virus is under control when there's a vaccine that will help us fight it and help us live with it and through it. And now, God, we join together. We pray the words that our Lord Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. And now we breathe in the breath of God. And we breathe out our tension and our turmoil. We breathe in the love of God. And we breathe out our haste and apprehension. And we breathe in the life of God. And we breathe out our work and our worry. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, today and always. See you tomorrow. God bless. <clears throat>